Hi, and welcome to Bible Buddy. And today we are reading for day number 299. Let's pray. Lord, I ask that your Holy Spirit, who inspired the writing of the scriptures, will bring your word alive in my heart every time I read it or hear it. Help me to retain it. Prepare me with your word so that I am complete and thoroughly equipped for everything you have for me to do. Make your word become part of the fabric of my being. Weave it into my soul so that it forms who I am. Help me to hear your voice speaking to me every time I read it. Don't let me neglect your law and cause my prayers to become an abomination to you. I want to live in the peace that you have for those who love your ways, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so if you have your Bible, you can open up the Bible to Amos 8. We were at 7 yesterday, so today we start Amos 8. Thus hath the Lord God showed unto me, and behold, a basket of summer fruit. And he said, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A basket of summer fruit. Then said the Lord unto me, the end is come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the songs of the temple shall be howlings in that day, said the Lord God. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. They shall cast them forth with sin silence. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail, saying, When will the new moon be gone, that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes, yea, and sell the refuse of the wheat. The Lord hath sworn by the excellency of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of their works. Shall not the land tremble for this, and every one mourn that dwelleth therein? And it shall rise up wholly as a flood, and it shall be a cast out and drowned, as by the flood of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. And I will mourn, and I will turn your feast into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all, li all lines, and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Behold, the days come, said the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. They that swear by the sin of Samaria, and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba liveth, even they shall fall, and never rise up again. I saw the Lord standing upon the altar, and he said, Smite the lintel of the door, that the post may shake, and cut them in the head, all of them, and I will slay the last of them with the sword. He that fleet to all of them, of them shall not flee away. And he that escapeth of them shall not be delivered. Though they dig into hell, thence shall mine hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, thence will I will bring them down. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out of thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence I will command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And though they go into captivity before the enemies, thence will I command the sword, and it shall slay them. And I will set mine eyes upon them for evil and not for good. And the Lord of, the Lord God of hosts is he that touches the land, and it shall melt. And all that dwell therein shall mourn, and it shall rise up wholly like a flood, and shall be drowned as by the flood of Egypt. It is he that buildeth his stories in the heaven, and hath founded his troop in the earth. He that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out upon the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. Are ye not as the children of Ethiopians unto me? O children of Israel, said the Lord, have I not brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from Captor? 
and the Assyrians from Pure. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like a like as corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the be breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as the days of the old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and all of the heathen which are called by my name, said the Lord, that do doth this. Behold, the days come, said the Lord. That the plowman shall overtake the reaper, and the treader of the grapes him that soweth seed, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. And I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof, and they shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them. And I will plant them upon their land, and they shall no more be pulled. Up out of their land, which I have given them, said the Lord my God. Okay, so we're gonna start reading the book of Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord God concerning Edom: We have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen; thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine great hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Thou, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers came to the to thee, would they not leave some grapes? How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee, and they eat thy bread that laid a wound under the, thee. There is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, said the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Edom, and understanding out of the mount of Esau? And thy mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed, to the end that every one of the mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off for ever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces. The foreigners entered into his gates, and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou wast on was as one of them, but thou shouldst not have looked on the day of thy brother in the day that he became a stranger. Neither shouldst thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldst thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou shouldst not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yet thou shouldst not have looked upon, looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither shouldst thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither shouldst thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord is near. Upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine head. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. And the Lord hath spoken it. And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, 
and they of the plain of the Philistine, the, the Philistines, and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim, and the fields of Samaria, and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, even unto Zarephath, and the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Well, thank you for reading along with me. And I will see you tomorrow. And God bless.